This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Pentester Academy would like to remind you that February is National Free and Open Source Software Month. This celebration recognizes the contributions and cooperative approach to computer programming, open licensing, and the free distribution of software. So, celebrate with us this month by tuning into the Toolbox every Monday and Wednesday to learn about the latest free and open source tools. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, The Toolbox, where we showcase the latest and greatest software tools so you can use them to better your security. I have an awesome tool to show you guys today. Let's take a look at WFuzz. WFuzz is a web application vulnerability scanner and fuzzer. It allows arbitrary input injection to any field of an HTTP request, which in turn enables an attacker to perform complex web security attacks. This tool is written in Python and was developed by Xavi Mendez, who is at X4VI underscore Mendez on Twitter. Now, you're probably wondering how to use this tool. Well, take a look at this great example. In this demo, we will learn how we can find different pages and files of the Accuntix PHP test website and perform a brute force attack on a web form of Altoro Mutual vulnerable website using WFuzz. First, let's check the help options of WFuzz. Now, copy the target URL and execute the WFuzz on it. The C flag enables different color codes in output, W flag defines a word list, and HC flag hides a 404 response. We need to change the target portion of the URL with fuzz keyword. This keyword will be used by the tool to identify the portion and try different values in its place. We can observe that the tool has disclosed multiple PHP files. Now let's move to brute force attack on the Altoro Mutual vulnerable bank. First, check the parameter for the username and password. To keep this brute force demo short, we have created custom lists. Now, using the previously observed form parameters, we will launch brute force attack on the web form. The C flag enables different color codes in the output, Z flag defines the username and password list, D flag defines post data identifier, and HC flag directs the tool to hide response with code 202. We can observe that after trying multiple sets, this tool has discovered the correct username and password. We can log into the portal using these. This tool helps web application pen testers to map a website and uncover vulnerabilities. That's all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tool breakdown. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of The Toolbox. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.